When the founders of the United States went to school, their class schedules looked a little different from yours. So what did they learn from the past, and how did they use that knowledge to create the U.S. Constitution? In the summer of 1787, the founders met in Philadelphia to discuss and agree upon a new framework of government for the young United States. With over three and a half million people living across a large stretch of land, they knew it would be impossible to recreate the direct democracy of Athens, where every citizen debated and voted on every issue in person. They also feared direct democracy could lead to mob rule, with the worst elements of society running the country. Instead, they decided to form a republic, a type of democracy where people vote for representatives to exercise political power on their behalf. From ancient Athens, they borrowed the idea that every citizen should be subject to the same laws, and that power should be divided among separate branches of government. From ancient Rome, they took the concept of representation for the wealthy and the poor, and a process for making immigrant citizens, called naturalization. And in the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, they saw that a large number of independent communities could unite under one single government. Of course, the U.S. Constitution wasn't perfect. It allowed states to maintain the institution of slavery for nearly 80 more years. And it had other issues, too. But by drawing on the ideas and lessons of the past, the founders created a document designed to safeguard democracy, and one that could change as the needs of a fast-growing and diverse country evolved. How can the United States continue to learn from and incorporate the experiences of other democratic societies?